Ms. Barnes? Here. Mr. Bowersox? Here. Ms. Shenoweth? Present. Mr. Lewis? Here. Mr. Roberts? Here. Mr. Smythe? Here. Ms. Stevenson? Mayor Pressing? Okay, our next uh, item of business is, uh, do we have any um, items to add to tonight's agenda? Yes, Charlie. Uh, one quick one, if we could answer, add it to in just before our discussion of council goals, and that would be a presentation on the uh, WUNA white paper on preserving and revitalizing West Urbana neighborhood. It'll segue right into uh, council goals. Okay. Um, is there a second to adjusting the agenda? Second. Um, all those in favor of making this adjustment, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, we've adjusted our agenda as requested. Um, do we at this time have a staff report? Okay, any other staff report? Yes. All right. Uh, let's take now a moment to approve the minutes. Uh, is there a motion on the table for approval of our last committee of the whole minutes? And I believe they are in our packet. Uh, dated November 14th, 2005. Is there a second? Second. Okay, moved by uh, Charlie Smythe and seconded by Robert Lewis. And now for discussion, Brandon. Yeah, I had one quick correction. On page one and then again on page three, uh, the name of Justin Cajindos is, his last name is spelled C-A-J-I-N-D-O-S. He was one of the others present that evening. Are there any other uh, corrections to be made to the minutes? Seeing none, um, let's take a vote on the uh, minutes as amended by Mr. Barsox. So all those in favor of the minutes as amended, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Uh, motion carries. The minutes are approved as amended. Um, at this point, um, we have an opportunity for public input. And uh, before I ask for public input, just a couple reminders. Uh, you can choose to speak at the time of the um, actual item, if it's, on, if, it's a, if it's something you want to address um, that's on the agenda, or you can uh, ask to speak now. And please hold your um, comments to five minutes. And so far, I have only one yellow slip, and it's Lisa. And you would like, I think, to speak at this point, correct? Come on up and state your name and address for us, if you would, please. Do I have to repeat? Great. Um, I'm also the co-coordinator of the Western Band and Neighborhood Association, and I'm really pleased to be here tonight because I have some marvelous news that we were able to raise over $12,000 for the specialty street signs for the Western Band and Neighborhood. And I think that we all can agree that this is a phenomenal amount that a grassroots organization of um, just neighbors who really passionately care about preserving and revitalizing this neighborhood um, it really sh shows just how important this neighborhood is to so many of the neighbors. I want to thank you for hearing our pleads, um, and for the city staff who cooperated with us, Bill Gray and Libby Tyler and Charlie Smythe, who really helped us. Uh, we're going to be, I guess, formally requesting the um, official approval of the specialty sign this evening. I also brought with us the check for the amount that um, Mr. Gray told us the specialty street signs would cost, um, plus some replacement. We also did notify uh, every um, household in the West Urbana neighborhood about what the street signs would say and held a informational meeting at the Urbanic Civic Center. So I think that the um, residents responded overwhelmingly and said they thought this was a great idea. The second thing that was just added to your agenda that, okay. Let me apologize for this. Lisa gave it to me several weeks ago. I put it on my desk, it got buried, and I forgot to get it to you. Um, and uh, this comes from the, the, the yeah. University Wuna. Yeah, the University Neighborhood City um, group that we've been meeting for the past uh, few years, uh, we thought 
the West Urbana Neighborhood Association, some of the members and the steering members had written a white paper um, around election time. Some of you may have uh, remembered seeing that about the importance of preserving and revitalizing the West Urbana neighborhood. And the University Neighborhood City Group, um, the, the UNC as it's uh, also known as, uh, thought that it would be a great idea to put out an addition about preserving and revitalizing the neighborhood, specifically how it acts as a retention and recruitment tool for the University of Illinois. So we recruited from our membership people who felt passionately that the neighborhood played a role in their both their recruitment or and or their retention at the University of Illinois. We received many letters, and we then um, kind of just revamped the paper, infusing those quotes into the paper, and then also have the accompanying letters to support that. And we plan to send it to Chancellor Herman and President White um, to let them know just how we don't have a lot of mountains around, we don't have a lot of oceans, but we have this wonderful neighborhood that people, when they come to visit the campus, are just enchanted by. So we wanted to let them know how important this was. So. Lisa, um, would you like the council to pass a resolution in support of this white paper? Is that the... I think the, that would be wonderful. I think that um, what is in this paper, and I, I know that um, Councilperson uh, Danielle Chenoweth and Councilperson uh, Brandon Bowersex actually got copies ahead of time since he's, you know, part of their um, word is in the West Urbana neighborhood. And basically, the city has poured so much tax dollars into um, preserving and revitalizing the library, the um, uh, Urbana Middle School, Leal School, the high school, that we just felt that the city certainly has shown um, their willingness to preserve and revitalize this neighborhood. We wanted the university to know that, that to be in partnership with the city to do that is really critical. Lisa, if we took this up at the first committee meeting in January, that would give everybody a chance to meet, would that be? I think that would be fine. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, because I, I won't be here next Monday to help talk about this, so I'd like, yeah, and, and everybody would have time to read it, and so I would propose that it, that, I, uh, um, I guess we have it on tonight's agenda, but, but from there we can send it on to the next committee meeting real quickly. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Lisa. You. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay, we're now ready to dig into our business. Uh, first item on the agenda, number five, which is, is resolution number 2005-12024-R, a resolution approving and authorizing the execution of an agreement with the Illinois Department of Transportation, Lincoln Avenue and Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, Mr. Gray, would you please uh, address the council? <laughs> Yeah, we just picked up the check for 12000 Okay. Um, before you this evening are three uh, action items for next week's council consideration. And this is solely to enter into an agreement with IDOT, whereby we would be receiving uh, $90,000 in hazard elimination safe, uh, safety money. Um, timing is somewhat um, important here because there's a lot of lead time to get the agreements signed and sent off to IDOT and have the money um, identified, which is we're planning to use motor fuel tax as our match, in order to uh, have all this approval done prior to an April of 06 letting. There's just a lot of, it's like a 90-day lead time. So that's why we're coming to you now with this. Um, Irrespective of whatever the final outcome of the striping is on Lincoln Avenue, um, this has no impact. This work, this action has no impact on that. This is strictly to install traffic signals at Pennsylvania and Lincoln and also to do some modest uh, geometric uh, work, some uh, rate and turning radius improvements at the intersection. So even the resurfacing work and that sort of thing would be done by a different contract along with the balance of that stretch in Lincoln Avenue up to California. So this is merely to uh, uh, take advantage of this grant that we received and to be uh, get the necessary approvals in time to capture this $90,000 and to get it on an April letting. So if there's any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. 
Um, so really, all three of these resolutions go together, and uh, your comments address all three of these. Yes. So before we move to discussion, is there a motion on the floor? I'd move resolutions 2005-12-024R, uh, 025R, and 026R to council with a recommendation for approval. Second. Okay, there's been a motion made by Mr. Smythe and a second by uh, <coughs> Ms. Chenoweth. Uh, is there discussion? Mr. Bowersox. Yeah, Mr. Gray, I only see two of these resolutions in the packet that we got, the first two, and I wonder if I just misunderstood or if maybe the other one is language that we'll get next week. No, actually, I had the same question. I asked Barbara about it, and okay. the second one is actually yeah. this. It's this, a side this, out. This side out thing is actually it's the, the second actual one. Piece of, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Wonderful. Thank right. you. Um, Danielle, just a quick clarifying question. Um, so the turning radius work would not be affected by whether or not we have three lanes or four lanes, whether or not we have bike lane or three lanes or no bike lanes. Correct. The turning radius is independent of lane. Yes. Mm, okay. <coughs> Dennis. Um, and Bill, the dimension, the width of the Lincoln Avenue, is that 48 feet? Am I remembering this correct? <clears throat> the face to face is of curb, face to curb face is 40 feet. 40 feet, okay. That's all, thank you. Is there other discussion? Seeing none, I believe we're ready for a vote. Uh, do I have a motion for moving these? You do have one, we already have one, so let's vote. Yeah, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, motion carries, those go forward to council <coughs> for next Monday night. Next one, uh, item number.